Hello Year 3, um, this is your first lesson for maths for um, week one in our new term. Miss um, Amimpour isn't very well at the moment so I'm just doing these maths lessons until she's back. So what we're going to do is we're going to revise addition and subtraction and this lesson is all about revising addition. Next lesson will be revising subtraction and then we'll have a lesson where we do both together. So, oh, how does this work? Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how to add two numbers together using this example. 657 add 22. One way you could add these numbers together is mentally. You could try to do it in your head. And you might do that by thinking, well, I know seven add two is nine, and I know five add two is seven. So I've added the ones and I've added the tens in my head. So here I can say, and I've got no hundreds to add, so the hundreds is going to stay the same. I know five add two is seven, so I know the tens become seven, and I know seven add two is nine, so the ones become nine. So I've just done that mentally in my head by breaking um, the number down into place value. Or you could figure out um, the number sentence pictorially. So that means that you would draw out the numbers and then you'd count the numbers all together. So I need to draw 657. I've drawn six squares to represent my hundreds, five ten sticks to represent my tens, and seven ones to represent my seven, my, yes, my ones. Uh, seven circles, sorry. So that is 657 and I'm adding 22. So I need to draw two 10 sticks to represent the 20 and two ones to represent the two. Then I would count them all together. So I'm going to start with my, um, my ones. I've got seven, eight, nine. So I know that I've got nine ones. I'm going to count my tens. I've got five, six, seven. So I've got seven tens. Oops. And I'm going to count my hundreds and I've got six hundreds. So drawing the numbers out pictorially can really help you with addition. The final way I'm going to show you today is column addition. So to do column addition, you need to lay out your question like I have done here um, with the two numbers underneath each other. 657 add 22. Now the trick is you always need to start at your ones, okay? Always start with your ones. So add my ones first, seven add two is nine. Then add my tens. 5 add 2, see they're in the same column, 5 add 2 is 7, and then my hundreds, 6 add 0 is 6. So I found my answer there, 679. Now adding gets a little bit more complicated when we need to do an exchange. So I'm going to show you one example with an exchange. 348 add 35. So this is a little bit trickier to try to work out in your head. You can have a go adding the ones. 8 plus 5 is 13. Add the tens. 4 plus 3 is 7. Hmm, but then that gets a bit tricky if I try to think about how do I then add those together? You can have a go. Or you might find it easier counting on. So I'm going to start with 348. I'm going to count on five. So that would take me to um, 349, 300. 50, 51, 52, 53, 353. Then I need to add my 30. 
So I'm going to say, oh, 50 at 30 is 80. So that brings me to 383. Now that's a bit tricky. So you might want to think, mm, because there's an exchange, I'm not going to do it mentally. I'm going to do it pictorially or column addition. So pictorially, you could draw out the numbers just the same as before. So I've drawn out three squares to represent my 300, four 10 sticks to represent 40, and eight ones. And I need to add three 10 sticks to represent 30, and five ones. Then I'm going to count them all together. Now start with your ones, just like in column addition. So if I start with my ones, eight plus five is 13. Then look at my tens, four plus three is seven. Now I've already got a one in my tens column, so I'm going to add that as well. Seven add one is eight. Then add my hundreds and I've got three tens, uh, three hundred squares, so three. So I've just added all of my drawings together. And the method I find the easiest when you've got an exchange is to use column addition. I actually find this the easiest for all addition um, questions. So I'm going to write out my number sentence in a column, making sure that my ones are underneath each other and my tens are underneath each other to help me figure out my question. And I always start with my ones. So eight add five is 13. Now, the way I do this is I write my 1 for 13 underneath the line and I write my 3 here. Can you see I've written 13, but the 1 needs to go into the tens column and the 3 needs to be in the ones column. Okay, so I've carried over my 10. Now I need to add the tens and I include what I've carried over. 4 add 3 is 7. Am I finished? I'm not finished because I need to include this one. So I add the one is eight. Have I got anything to carry over? Not now. So I look at my hundreds column. All I've got in my hundreds column is three. So my answer is 330. Oh, sorry, 383. Just checking I got the same one. Okay, so. I've shown you three different ways to figure out addition number sentences. Um, I have shown you how to do addition when you need to do an exchange, which is a little bit um, harder, and when you don't need to do an exchange. I've given you here 10 questions that I'd like you to work through. Um, and once you've finished those, I'd like for your challenge you to show me in a different way so if you figured out some of these questions mentally then your challenge would be then to figure out the question pictorially or through column addition okay so good luck with that year three i look forward to seeing your answers to these questions on tapestry <laughs>